guys, it's Ro. Today, we are filming a closet tour. I am super excited because I have never filmed one of these before. I got so many requests from you all to make this video, so that is exactly what we're doing today. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. I am a foodie who also loves fashion. I can't help it, I just love what I love. If you would like to show some support, hit subscribe and click the bell so that you get notifications when I post a new video. Now, let's get started. Welcome to my closet. In general, my closet is extremely organized because I'm super busy. I have a very busy lifestyle. I'm always traveling or going to meetings or filming. It just helps me find things faster when I'm in a hurry. And my personal style is a mix of sporty casual for when I'm working out and running errands and really girly and glam. I love getting dressed up. I love dresses and skirts. So this entire closet is a mix of those two vibes. Let's start on this side of the closet and then work our way all the way around. Right here is some shoe storage. These are my casual shoes. There's Uggs and tennis shoes, slip-ons, sandals, the casual shoes that I grab every day when I'm on the go. My shoe size is super rare. It is a women's size four and if you have petite feet you know that there is a crossover between women's sizes and kids sizes. A petite women's size four is also a kids two and a half so there's like this gray zone. So throughout my closet and all of these shoes are a mix between a women's size size four and a kid's two and a half. For example, these little sneakers. These are Vans. This is a kid size. I actually made these in a DIY video. I hand painted all these cute little sprinkles on there. But this is a kid size two and a half. And then this sandal I got at Nordstrom. This is a women's size by Halogen. And this is a women's size four. And as you can see, look at this, same size. My go-to slip-on sneakers are these ones. It's a brand called Ash and they're super cute. I love them. I have them in black and in silver and also <gasps> they're high top. How adorable is this? I love these. I wear them all the time. These booties get a lot of use. As you can see, they are very worn. These are my favorite. These ones are by Franco Sarto and thank you for making a woman's size four. Franco, I don't even know if you're a real person. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for making a woman size four. I wear these all the time and I absolutely love them. These ones are a little bit lower ankle boot and these are also by Franco. These booties are really cool because they're airy. It has a bunch of holes in it. It's like a ventilation booty. These are awesome because I live in California. It's really warm here. So if I want to wear a booty but I don't want my feet to get too hot, you can wear these. It's by Vince Camuto. I love them. These cute slip-ons are by Bjorn. And these ones, they're by Cork Ease, and I love them. They're just a tan, beautiful, solid sandal that you can pair with anything. I usually pair it with this little purse right here, or anything this color. It's just a solid go-to basic sandal. I love. A lot of the shoes that I own are really hard to find because a lot of the stores don't even carry my size. Let me know. I would love to know if you guys know anywhere to find petite shoe sizes. So let me know in the comments below if there's any stores that I don't know about that you found are really helpful. And if you are petite like me, you may really enjoy this closet tour because we are going to talk about brands that work for us. There aren't that many of them, so I think that this will be really cool to just connect to catch up about petite clothing and brands. Where we can find them, who makes them. Before we get into clothes, I have these two shelves for purses. I don't own very many purses. I think I own four. This purse is by Kate Spade. It is Minnie Mouse themed. I live in California and I love going to Disneyland and every time I go, I bring. I really like it because it's little, it's small, so if I'm going out for the day, it's not heavy and it has a crossbody strap, so I'm hands free and I can just go have a lot of fun at Disneyland all day. Over here, I have two identical purses by Rebecca Minkoff. I love them because they are so high quality. They have lasted me for years. I don't even know how many years I have owned these. I just know it's been a very long time. They're both mini quilted affair crossbody purses in both a gray color and 
this brown. My last purse is the fanciest thing that I own in this entire closet in my whole wardrobe. This is a classic Chanel purse and I got it because I really wanted to have a piece in my wardrobe that would withstand time. Something iconic, something classic that would go with everything and this is it. On the shelf above is my on set bag. This is the bag that I bring to sets whether I'm shooting a food video or I'm shooting a scripted series or a music video. I always like to bring my own set bag. They really do take care of you on sets. There's crafty, there's catering, but I like to bring my own personal things so that I know that I have the snacks that I like. And for me, my problem is I always get cold. Even if they have heaters or anything, I like to bring, you know, stuff from home. This one is by LNS Low and Sons. It's their Catalina bag. They also have like a weekend bag. This one's a little bit smaller. I really like it because it has a separate compartment on the bottom for your shoes. And then on the top, it also has inner pockets and little storage so you can bring snacks comfy shoes for when you're done on set and you want to put your comfy stuff on, stuff to keep warm. There's some built-in drawers underneath the purses. These are just my underwear, my bras, my socks, very exciting, my workout gear, and then the bottom drawer are swimsuits. I have a bunch of different swimsuits that I've accumulated over the years. Some are from Target, some are from Victoria's Secret, Anthropology, and a little bit ago I posted a picture of this mermaid swimsuit. I was outside swimming in the pool. I got a lot of questions about this one. I posted a picture in this on my Instagram, and this one I found at Margarita Mermaids. They have a bunch of really cute swimsuits, not just this one, but they have like two pieces. They have all sorts of stuff. Now on to clothes. I've organized the clothes in my closet by type and color. Over here I have sweaters and then organize them by color so that they're really easy to grab and go. Up here I have vests, cardigans, and jackets. And just a side note, this fuzzy little vest here and this furry little vest here, this is fake fur. This is not real fur, it's faux fur. And again, all of my clothes are a mix of adult and kid sizes. For example, this cute, oh my, one of my favorite hoodies, this adorable like galaxy, it's a sweater dress, is from Black Milk online. And then, <gasps> This little heart hoodie is from Kids Zara. This wall is for skirts and dresses. I own a lot of skirts, so I like to keep them all together so I know what I'm working with. This is one of my favorite casual summertime skirts, and I found this one at Forever 21. This skirt, so cute. You may recognize it from the pictures, the photo shoot on the row baking line. I have a little crop top and this fun skirt on. It's so girly. I love the confetti design. It has rainbow metallic confetti and it kind of looked like sprinkles. This one's from Stella McCartney, but get this, it's a kid size. If you're a shorty like me, Express is a great brand. Thank you, Express. They put out a petite line recently, and I ordered this online. It is amazing. It's a double zero petite, and it fits to a T. I love you, Express Petites. Look at these little frills. So cute. And this one, oh my gosh, this is so fun. Are you kidding? Look how fun this is. I found this skirt at Nordstrom. It is Kate Spade. It's a kid size and it is so cute. It is red leopard and I wear these with little knee high like black boots and like a little black turtleneck. I love it. Above the skirts are all my dresses. You may recognize some of them from pictures on Instagram. For example, this one with the cute bees all over it and mesh is the dress that I wore to the red carpet premiere of Jumanji. It is from ASOS Petites. ASOS is another brand that has a petite section and their sizes fit me so well. This romper is the outfit I wore when I was presenting on stage at YouTube with Swoozy. Every dress has a memory attached to it, so every time that I see them, I'm just, I'm reminded of all these wonderful memories. For example, I wore this beautiful flower dress to the red carpet premiere of Angry Birds. Now you guys may not be foodies, but if you are, I actually got the opportunity to fly to France and live and cook in Julia Child's former cottage. And I actually got to bake recipes from her French cookbook in her kitchen. And this is the dress that I wore in that video. So I'm gonna put a link down below to that video of when I was in France living and baking in her actual kitchen. Every time I see this, I just light up. 
This is the dress I wore for my first magazine cover. It was on the cover of Ad Week with Michelle Fawn and Bethany Moda. And I got this dress at H&M. Oh my god, okay, one more, one more, one more, one more. Okay, last dress, I promise, I wore this one to the red carpet premiere of Star Wars The Last Jedi. And again, it is from ASOS and it's hollow. It's hollow and it's sequined. And look at this bling, 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 bling. Love. Okay, let's do a cool slide, ready? Slide with me over here. Underneath the window is a built-in dresser and on top of the dresser I keep my perfume and jewelry. In general, the perfumes that I like are very light and fresh. I love the smell of fresh flowers like gardenia or jasmine. Speaking of gardenia, the one by Tuca, I found this at Sephora. It smells like fresh gardenia. I really like this fragrance. I also really love Kai. I originally found this fragrance when I was in Hawaii. I was vacationing with my family. I smelled it. I fell in love. And now I've always got to have it. I also really like Dior and classic Chanel number no. five. Ooh. I also have these little roll on and sprays. These are for when I travel, just a little travel size perfume so you can roll it on and go. Easy to throw in your bag and take with you. This one is Daisy by Marc Jacobs, and this one is. Clinique Happy in Bloom. And this one is really neat, probably my favorite travel one because look at this, you just twist the lid, it's by Kate Spade, boop, and it pops up. So you can go spray, spray, and then you twist down. Boop. I found this jewelry box online at Pottery Barn. It used to hold all of my jewelry. My jewelry collection has grown over the years. Right now it hosts a lot of my watches and bracelets. It has a bunch of drawers that you can just pull out. And there's a bunch of bracelets inside. Oh, oh, what's this? A crystal wolf bracelet by my friend Joey Graceffa? I love it. In addition to the drawers, it also has winged sides for hanging jewelry. Whoop. Like this, opens up. The wing sides are magnetic, so it stays closed, and I keep some of my shorter chained necklaces inside here. It has these little hooks that you can hang them on, so some of my necklaces are in here, and the rest of them are on this stand. This stand has a bunch of necklaces. This back row is the tallest, so I try to keep the longer hanging necklaces on the back. These ones are my thinner ones, they're more delicate. This one was a gift from Liza. Thank you, Liza, it's the key necklace. So cool. This one is from my friend Joey, again from Crystal Wolf. I love this one, I wear it all the time. This one I found in Hawaii, and I love it. It just has a bunch of different stones and leaves. These are my shorter choker necklaces. I found this <gasps> adorable velvet bow choker necklace from Nasty Gal. It is one of my classics. I have worn it so many times. I love it. Then most of these chunkier bling necklaces that I like to wear for a little pop of color are from J. Crew. I keep all my earrings on these two earring organizers. I am currently looking for a different earring organization solution because I have a bunch of little studs and dangly earrings and they don't all fit onto one of these. I hang all of the larger ones on this one back here. We've got poof balls and hoops and cute little hearts but on this one I keep most of my little studs. Here is my ring organizer. I keep all of the rings that I wear in here and my quirky rings are over here. I currently have two favorite. One is this little Easter bunny. It's so cute. And <gasps> it's a French bulldog. It looks just like my dog Cookie. I love this ring. These four drawers are filled with headbands, sunglasses, random t-shirts, jeans, and more jeans. Speaking of jeans, let's talk pants. I am again in that crossover size between adult sizes and kid sizes. So in adults, I wear a triple zero, and in kids, I wear a kid size 10 to 11. For kid sizes, I really like the brand Mango. They make a bunch of styles that are very basic, so they don't look 
like little kiddish. And what I mean by that is some things in my size have like Dora the Explorer printed all over them and big happy faces, which I love Dora the Explorer. She's amazing, but I'm not really sure that I want to like rock that on a date night or when I'm out with my girlfriends. So I really appreciate that they keep some simple styles that are really affordable. I have these mango pants in black, white, and denim, just some classic go-to pants colors. For adult sizes, a few different brands work for me. One is Aeropostal. You know when you go to the store and they have jeans that are regular and then tall and then short? Aeropostale has short jeans and what? They come in triple zero. Yes, another great store for petite jeans. Top Shop. They have a petite section. They made these jeans. They're really high quality. They're more expensive than the kid jeans, but they are worth it. They last forever. Another great place to look for petite bottoms in terms of shorts are Zara. So not their women's section, not their kids section. They have this in-between category called TRF. I don't know, maybe it's like their teen section? I'm not quite sure. But there I have found a bunch of pieces that work for me. This is a Euro 32 and a US double zero. And these high-waisted denim shorts fit really, really well. All right, that's it for bottoms. Let's go over here. This corner of the closet is a combination of t-shirts, long sleeve, tank tops, and I've organized them by color to make things easier to find, except for this little area right here. This hanger is for my dog, Cookie. These are all her little bows and collars and matching leashes. I know this is hashtag ridiculous. I know. She's got a watermelon bow and matching leash, a baby pink bow, a sprinkle bow. This is her holiday bow. She wears this for Christmas time, her red bow. This is another sprinkle bow, but it's a little smaller. I wanted to give her options, whatever she wants to wear. Let's be real, I'm just getting started. She may need her own closet. I have been eyeing so many different style bows. Some Something a little unique about my closet is I have an apron for every occasion. My mom actually made all of these custom. She is so sweet. So as a baker, I have many options. We've got a little 8-bit heart. I've got sprinkle aprons. Lemons on lemons on lemons. Circuit board. I have a Minecraft print. Tetris vibes and math. This wall has more built-in drawers, which is home to my PJs, my pajamas. This is a pajama drawer, pajama drawer, pajama drawer. And these two bottom drawers are cookie. These are her drawers. Her wardrobe is growing. Let's check them out. Her little hoodie from American Apparel. She has little sweaters and dresses for every occasion. Something for Halloween, Christmas. This one's so cute. It's a little sweater and it says, Poop Happens because she's my little stinker. She has a Princess Leia hoodie, a gingerbread sweater. This is her little football sweater. She also has a winter coat and little booties. I also like to keep her new toys in here that she doesn't know about. This is the secret drawer. And then whenever I bring a new one out, she's so excited and so happy. So the new toys that she hasn't seen yet. Ooh, spoiler, Cookie, don't watch this video. It says Donut Disturbed. It's a little coffee and it has little donuts that go inside and you stuff them in there and then she's got to try to dig them out. So this will keep her busy for hours. I found these at Healthy Spot. I can't wait to give these to her. It's some fries and they come out and they're kind of crinkly. She always loves that noise, so I know she's gonna love these. Look at them, the little fries come out. This lower drawer is full of all of her costumes. She has a hot dog costume. This is actually made for toddlers, but she wears a toddler size too. So sometimes when I'm at the store and I find a really cute outfit and it's for a baby, it will also fit Cookie. There's also a banana split, little fun day Sunday. And one of my favorites, her Wookiee vest. This fits her perfectly, and whenever she's wearing it, I call her Cookie the Wookiee. This shelf has hats, my big sun hat, and regular baseball caps, scarves, and up there I keep things, my winter clothes that I don't use that often unless we're in the winter season, like winter jackets or heavy winter sweaters. Now we're in the final corner of the closet. We are saving the best for last because it's all my heels. Ah! 
I found these really cute shoe storage containers from the container store. They had them in different colors. They had them in this light cream and that was already the color of this closet when I moved into the home. So I just got those and then I took a picture of the shoes and stuck it on the front of the box so that I would remember which shoe is in which box. I love Jimmy Choo. They make a size four and I have every color. We've got silver Jimmy Choo's, gold and black. Another brand that I really love and I'm so happy this company exists. They're called Shoes of Prey. Kind of like birds of prey but they're shoes of prey you can customize shoes for many different sizes including very small petite feet so a lot of these are custom orders from their website this silver one is a custom order from shoes of prey this gold and black is shoes of prey gold and white this beautiful pink nude and over here suede with bows there are also some random brands in here who carried size four shoes for a second, but that second it was available, I was like, hello, and you can come with me. For example, I don't think Jessica Simpson makes a size four anymore, but this is a size four. I scooped it up in two different colors. It's a really sleek pointed heel. I love it. This one's leopard print. And the other one over here, look at this sexy nude. Jessica Simpson, even if you don't make a size four anymore, I just want to let you know that I loved your size fours and I scooped them up. I love them more than anything. Up here I've got some really cute custom food shoes from Shoe Bakery. These ones look like little gingerbread that has like little gumdrops and icing all the way around it. I love how creative this company is and as a baker, I just love all of the different like foodie options. I wore both of these on tour when I was touring around the country and meeting you guys. This was so fun. We've got a little ice cream and a cake. Above the shoes, I have my little sewing kit, and last but certainly not least is where I hang my longer dresses. This blue one's more formal, and it's the one that I wore at the Red Carpet Premiere of Warcraft. And these ones are more casual summer dresses. I love to wear them to the beach or vacation. Underneath are thigh-high or over-the-knee boots. They're the taller boots. They fit perfectly under there. Then tucked underneath here are two boots that hit me right underneath the knee. There's a brown one and a black one. All right, that is everything in my closet. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notifications when I make new videos. And if you have any ideas of any other home tour videos that you'd like to see, please let me know. Leave me a comment down below. You can also watch some other videos here. Oh, here. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Bye bye.